people, you know, are more likely to know somebody that has that has died by suicide than has died in a traffic accident. Suicide, the second leading cause of death for Idahoans between the ages of 15 and 34. We begin tonight with an ongoing issue that the state has been wrestling with for decades. The state of Idaho ranks sixth in the country for most teen suicides per capita, a more than troubling distinction many are working to curtail. A nurse new survey just released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention chronicles suicidal behaviors among the youth in Idaho. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here to break this down for us. Shira. Yeah, Mark, that survey is conducted every two years and it measures a number of behaviors, including suicide. Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline. A little over 40 calls a day are, are coming in. From 8 in the morning to midnight, seven days a week, volunteers with the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline are answering calls, responding to text messages, and chats about suicide. Consistently, Idaho is in the top 10 for per capita suicides. We have about 80 volunteers at the moment, um, but where we really want to be is um, closer to 100. Right now, the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline is looking for extra volunteers. Their plea comes as the Idaho State Department of Education released its Idaho Youth Risk Behavior Survey, then measured seven categories of youth behavior, which included suicide behavior. What we saw in the, the survey was that our data pertaining to youth suicide has remained pretty consistent and flat from 2017 to 2019. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare reports suicide is the second leading cause of death in youth ages 10 to 24. Roughly 1,200 students, grades 9 through 12, from 40 Idaho school districts completed this year's survey. Nearly 22 percent have considered suicide at some point in the past year. What that tells us is that we have a lot of work to do. Superintendent Sherry Ibarra is asking for a million dollars in the current budget request to help provide extra training for educators. That training is going to look at the um, prevention, intervention, and postvention preparation for schools. George Austin with the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline says Idaho's access to firearms and location are some of the reasons why Idaho is among the states with the highest suicide rate. I mean, we are a state that is, you know, largely rural. So getting to connections and, you know, getting to support is harder. Uh, the, the fewest per capita psychiatrists for any state. The first question uh, I would have is... Back in May, KTVB's Brian Holmes spoke with middle school students who say they've had friends who have shared thoughts about hurting themselves. It's scary, you know, because there's nothing you can do about it and you almost feel responsible for what's going to happen. I've had friends who have like said something like that and I feel like helpless in a way because like if I'm not with them or like I can't help them in some way. Now there were some bright spots that came out of this survey. The State Department of Education tells me that both bullying and tobacco use were at a 10 year low. By the way, the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline is only seven years old, Mark, and uh, we'll be sure to include that number on our web story at KTV.com. Well, I'm going to mention it right now, Shira, but yeah, it was rebooted seven years ago after going dark for nearly 10. But again, um, if you know or you're, or you're having suicide thoughts, you are urged to call the Suicide Prevention Hotline. This is the Idaho Hotline, area code 208-398-4357. Again, that number, 398-4357.